fresh Sunday. Your eyes have seen this man. I prophesy you see the next man to the end. Amen and amen. Amen. Many have died in even this January. But God has sustained our life and he will continue to do so and mark everybody here with the blood that the month of February will be good for you hey, the month of February hey, it will be well with you I stand as your father and I prophesy that February will open up for you all the good things in February hey, it will be your portion And I prophesy that no evil will touch you in favor. You and your children, you are protected. You are covered by the blood of Jesus. I prophesy. In the month of February, your hands will touch mine. There will be a smile. There will be a smile. If you believe, shout that amen and receive the this morning the Lord has sent me with his word and I start bring the word somebody will be blessed this morning I'm in my teaching spirit oh. I believe before before we close the prophetic will come Amen. Amen. Matthew chapter 4, verse 19. Matthew chapter 4, verse 19. And he said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. He said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. The next verse. And the strength will lift their hands and follow them. In a ship with seventy your father, mending their nets, mm -hmm. and he called them. And they immediately left their ship. And they immediately left their ship. And their father. And their father. And they followed him. And they followed him. Amen. Amen. This morning, okay. the message is: Follow me, the bench. and I will make him. Fishes of men. So the theme for today is fisherman. 
fisherman. Say I'm a fisherman. Can say me your farini. Oh, I can hear you say it boldly. Say I'm a fisherman. How many believe they are fishermen? We are all fishermen. And I will explain. I told you I'm in my teaching spirit this morning. So let me take it cool with you. When you look at the scripture we read, Jesus came to Peter. Yes, and with other brothers with him and said, Follow me. And I will make you the fishes of men. The reason why we are called to follow Jesus is simple. It's to be fishes of men. For you to enlarge this year, you must get to work. As I said, you man. To enlarge this year, if you are called to be a fisherman, then you must carry your nets and start fishing. Jesus said, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. In another word, I will make you a soul witness. The reason why the church exists is for us to fish men. And say, it is my prayer that this year you will do your job. Your amen is weak. This this year you will do your job. May God give you the grace to fish men. You are still alive because God wants you to fish people for him. Last year, how many people did you fish? For Jesus. How many souls did you want for him? You see, we are following other things as believers. Jesus didn't die. For only us to prosper. He died mainly. Oh, yeah. So that souls may be won for his kingdom. The main reason why he died. Share his blood on the cross. He was beaten. Spat on. Did all kinds of things to him. Because of you and I, bury him on the dead day he resurrected. All this thing he went through. Because he must deliver us from the kingdom of darkness and bring us into the kingdom of light. So you are silent as a believer. Why Jesus called you to follow him is to pull other believers or other unbelievers for him. Tell someone to say you are a fisherman. If you are a fisherman, does not go to the sea, does not use the nets, is he a fisherman? It's not. Follow me and I'll make you fishermen. Jesus didn't call you to only sit in the church. He called you to win others. Especially unbelievers. Listen and listen. Take it or leave it. Hell is real. Yes. Heaven is real. That's what I tell somebody. Take it or leave it. Hell is real. Heaven is real. So if you have seen heaven, 
Why not two ladders? Especially you, your family. So that they will not go to hell. Was you rest in heaven? Church, we are called to fish others. We are called not only to dress nicely and come and sit down. Our assignment is to go after the fish. I pray that God will give you the grace to do so. Come on, I pray that God will give you the grace to do so. Tap your neighbor and say, remember you are a fisherman. Remember you are a fisherman. Tell somebody you are called to fish others. When he called them, follow me. And I'll make you fishers of men. Number 20 said, immediately. They left their nets. And they followed him. They left their nets. Listen to me. We are loving our nets today in an assignment. We are loving our nets than the assignment. Let me show you, I have sat down quietly. And I've calculated one or two things. And I've seen that there is nothing beneficial in this world. I have seen that, hey, with all we are running after, there is nothing beneficial to us. The only thing that is very important, that is our soul, and that is the sign that we are neglecting. The only thing that is so important, that day, that after you have dropped, and they say you are no more, the only thing that is important is your soul. And that is, that is what we are neglecting day by day. We are not working on the soul. We leave the okra to suffer and to struggle. We have time for the body. We have time for other things. And when it comes to the soul, which we rather will live forever, we neglect it. That's all right. This your body will not live forever. Oh, Kaka, no. Kaka said this your body will not live forever. No matter how beautiful you are, how handsome you are, your money, your beauties, your cars, you can travel to 200 countries. This body will not keep here forever. And they straightway left their nets and followed him. Give me the knife. They left their nets and followed him. Listen, anything that you are holding on to more than the assignment, this morning may God help you to leave it. You are not the soul winner. Mm. That day, you will not have a better place. Let me shock you. Hey, the people, the people that God really loves, and He does not talk with those people no matter what. Is so winners. God loves people who win souls for Him. He cared about those people so much that he wouldn't allow any evil to touch them. So witness are so precious to God. The Bible said if one sinner repent, thousands of angels rejoice. Look at me. Most of the things we cherish and are happy about, it doesn't move God. 
Your money, it moves you, it doesn't move God. Whatever you have, your beauty moves you, it doesn't move God. Let me shock you. You know, only one thing moves God. When one soul repents, hey, when one soul repents, can you drop it? When one soul repents, thousands of angels, 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 there it was. So if you are the one that brought the soul to Christ, when the angels are rejoicing, talk to me, who are they rejoicing over? You who brought the person to Christ, greater of the blessing come to you. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Tell somebody say, you are a fisherman. Never forget that. You see, and then you are the Christo. Christo, they are done and say he's only a problem solver. Mm. They Christ as he is only a the church is deviating from its mandate, the whole world. The church is deviating from its cause. The reason Jesus died, we are deviating from it. Oh, most of the churches. I'm sorry, are no longer after souls. We have told the people, come, all your problem is from. So they are here because they want their problem to be solved. We have told the people, hey, my pastor is powerful. So go to my pastor. So he come to see the show of the pastor, not the show of Jesus. We have lied to the people. So many people are falling away from Christianity day by day. Ultimately, you'll be saying, my quite sorry, my breath, because on one case, you live in the entire sorry. The entire world is sorry. Me, 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 you are not here because of marriage. If marriage comes in, it's a plus. You are not here only to get money. If you get the money, it's a plus. Your main assignment is that Jesus died for you and you must accept him and serve him so that at the end of your journey, this is the mandate of the church. This is what the church exists. Any other thing is a bonus. Tell somebody it's a bonus. Why oh, it's not a bonus? It's a bonus. We are loving the bonus and assignments. Mm. We are loving the bonus than the assignment. But let me shock you. Those who hold on to the assignment, they are the heartbeat of God. Only So many is the heartbeat of God. Why should Jesus tell Peter and Co? Follow me! And I'll make you fishers of men. He didn't say, follow me! And I'll make you only rich. Follow me! And I'll make you popular. Follow me! And you have power. The assignment 
is that follow me. And I will make you fishes of men. Go back to the assignment. Tell somebody for me you are a fisher. Tell somebody you are a fisher woman. We must all begin to fish people for Jesus. Challenge time no deal. If you look at the way people are dying now, time no day. Even time no day. We have played the 90%, we are in the injury time. When we are playing football, we have 45 45. After the 45 minutes, we have they put 5 minutes on top. Where they call it in time. There is no time for humanity. The way the rich are dying. The way the poor are dying. The way the big men are dying. The way the young men are dying. There is no time. It is time. We tell people about Christ. It is time. We tell them that Jesus loved them. It is time. We let them know. There is a place called hell. There is a place called heaven. And it must take your decision. The decision you take today matters. Where you spend eternity. Whether in heaven. Whether in hell. You must decide. Tap your neighbor and say, Where will you spend eternity? He said, decision that you must take. He has the, has the son has life. He has not the son has no life. You have Jesus, you have life. The earth is only a, a transit place. Everybody will live forever. Everybody here will live forever. Let me explain. Tell your neighbor you will live forever. Man is an eternal being. If you die without Christ, you still live forever, but you will live in everlasting torment. You will live in fire. You you <laughs> you live or you live. The fire will be burning you. You will not find rest for your soul. Fire will be burning you, but you are not dying. Even small fire here, copper fire. See how it is. That was a Look at me. Look at me. People are crying, paying money, doing all kinds of to become president. Atamans had it. He died on the seat. There is nothing. There is nothing in this world. All that we are chasing has an end. This election 2024, you see the many people who share only to get that seat. Somebody had it. He, he died on it. Many of you want to be popular, you want to be great. It's not a bad thing, please. We all desire greatness. But remember that there is an end. Listen, if you are living life on earth knowing that there is an end, there's a way you live that you don't live carelessly. Many Christians today 
Party, you see be a party a Christian. I said the party, they forget that After the party, now the uh, Christian. No. Prove your Christianity. Prove your Christianity everywhere you go. You are in a crowd, you are a Christian, you go to your village, you are a fetish priest. Let your friends, you see, the reason why you can't win your friends and some is that they know that you are a different person in the church and when you go home, you are a head. Yeah, so when you tell them you are a Christian, they say, who? Because you go with them. You smoke with them, you drink with them, gossip with them. So when you tell them, let's go to church, why should I follow you to church? Because when I look at you, the same thing I'm doing, you also do it. They love their net immediately and follow them. And I say unto you that likewise, joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repent. More than 99 nine just persons which need no repentance. So anytime you pull a soul from the world for Christ, heaven draws a party. Heaven, I go, sir. I prophesy, receive the grace to be a soul winner. So your workplace should be your pulpit. When you speak the truth, when you speak the truth to people, people hate the truth today. They don't want to hear about heaven and hell. Some of you be sitting here, you don't want to hear it. But hear me! There is an end to everything. Under the sun. Who That family head who doesn't know you. He is the first person to ask where is his ATM card, where is his check, where is his this. And even your house is. That is why you must have time for God and serve God alone. A pastor died recently. And I was at the funeral. They have not even buried him. The corpse is lying down. And they were fighting over his bank account. Mm. Family and, oh, and the wife. Family and the wife, they were fighting over his house. So all the sweat running up and down goes to someone who even doesn't even live with you? Who doesn't even know? Why don't you spend your life and serve God? I didn't know So that the day you check out, as for checking out, automatically one day we all check out. Mm, they don't like that one. One day we all check out. Ah, one day we will check out. We will. Tell somebody after you are 120 years, you check out. <laughs> oh, I didn't hear. Tell somebody after you are 120 years in this world, you check out. My prayer is that all of you 120 shall be your portion. After you got it, you check out. We are tenants.
tenants in this world. We are tenants. Nobody owns a property here. Everything you have is not for you. You are only a caretaker. You are only a caretaker. One day, you leave it. So that the next person can take over. Can I pray for you? May your heart turn towards God's business. May your heart turn towards God's business. And as you do this, may God give you the best place in heaven. Oh, receive it. Give me Proverbs 11.30. Look at this. Only one thing matters to God. One thing that when you are doing, God is so happy. Even as a man of God, it's not prophesied. It's not eh, healing people. It's not miracle. The miracles we experience here, it doesn't move God. What moves God is when one sinner repents. Mm. I read in my Bible and I saw it. The prophet will say, We prophesy in your name. The healers will say, We heal in your name. But I will say to them, I do not know you. So you can receive the prophecy and still go to hell. What matters to God? is we winning the loss at all costs there are so many people that are lost and they are around you every day as a Christian if you don't preach the gospel the love of Jesus to someone then you are not a Christian you are not you are not I met one guy recently when I meet them, I don't ask them, do you go to church? Don't ask people, do you go to church? The question is, do you have Jesus Christ? Have you accepted Jesus as your Lord and best person? Are you born again? I asked this guy. And he began to look at me. Then I asked him if you die today. And I said, Who will die? Where are you going? Then I saw that his face changed. And I'm losing a new answer. Yes, when people hear them, their face change. But hear me, we will all die one day. And if I who I have a new for you? I'm so about you. When I go to funeral, only one thing push me to cry. So is this how people will gather and be watching my body as well? And when I'm lying in this thing, where am I going? Wave me, let me shock you. It's shocking you. Know? Somebody can have like 10 cars. And when the person dies, they will even use one car to bury him. The most, the most wonderful wonder. Eh, sometimes I think about and I don't understand that they build mansions and eh, these rich people, yes, still they will go and put them around a park. They do their footprints at park or a funeral home. They will even say, last respect. Let's put him in his home. If we have something to think about, let's think about where we are going. Not where we are. You are clapping too. Don't run after everything and neglect your soul. There is a place where your soul is going. And it will be sad. That they say you got all the money. It will be sad. That they said in this world you were doing well. It will be sad. That 
God, they said this word. You are the big man. You are the big woman. You are the most poorest. But yes, dear, God doesn't know you. You didn't get a place in heaven. It will be sad. My prayer for you this morning is that God has delivered you from everlasting death, from hell. You also save others. You also save others. We are saved. We are we are saved to save others. That's somebody. We are saved to save others. Don't be greedy. Don't be greedy. Many Christians are comfortable. I to follow Once me alone, I have Christ. It's okay. You are not thinking about others. Hear me. Go home today. Tell your friends. Jesus is coming soon. Somebody say, oh, they said Jesus is coming. Why is he not in? Then I said, the day you die, your Jesus has come. Because it is appointed unto us to die once. And after death, Judgment. 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 You, when well, you are hearing this word, you can throw them off. Most Christians, pastors who preach this word, they are not powerful. Pastors who preach this word, oh. Whoever gives you this word is giving you more than a million dollars. Find somewhere for your soul. And sign at that one another. Before the evil day comes. Sometimes I sit there and I think, oh. I tell you, I'm not something. Kofiana, Kofiana, how many know Kofiana? You and Secretary General, the whole world. Yes, you know. Which country are you talking about? He has it to almost the whole world. But when the time came, he check out. Now, the problem is no more here. Whatever you have here, the name you have here is over. The next thing is between you and God. Does God also know you? That's where the problem is. Many of us, people know us. Do you know my prayer always? Don't use me in this world. Man, for me, the people who know me. And when I come to heaven, you will say you don't know me. What I say, if God knows you and people does not know you, it's enough. Come on. If God knows you and people does not know you, it's enough. I pray for you. You have long life. But after you have checked out, you have a better place also for your soul. They left their net and followed me. They left their business and followed Jesus. The business you are using as an excuse for Jesus. The excuses you keep giving, I don't have time to serve God. Keep giving excuses. That day, on that day, tell somebody one day, one day. Tell somebody one day, one day. All the excuses, it will flash before you. Oh, I 
was busy. That's why I couldn't have time to serve God. Okay, fine. Oh, now me want to look at that. I'm telling you, I'm very unfamiliar. I've already told. Medical guys. These suits, I will leave them. My best shoes, I will leave them. If I check out today, I will leave everybody. So if I have something to do, I have to have time for my soul. Three of you, I see you having eternal life. Look at this. Soul winners. Who are soul winners? Let's work it out. Am I teaching? Is somebody learning? Yes. I want all of you to make it. But after making it, always have it at the back of your mind that, hey, it is not the end. Know that there is something after the making it. God can decide any day, any time to call you back home. If someone knows that you're to die, you fight to get life. But the way people are dying, over to me, Nancy, why not? I check it out. Somebody can be walking, then then die. Hmm. Oh, me me a young girl. Hey, me wa pumudi. Charlie, God can decide today to check you out. This is why you must live your life on earth as somebody who is in a transit. I have a good thing. Can we all read one go? The fruit of the righteous is the tree of life. He who wins souls is. May you be wise. Oh, your amen is sweet. May you be wise. Let me do an examination. So, he who does not win souls is. Oh, please, I'm not the one saying to. He who does not win souls is. So, don't be a fool in the eyes of God. Make sure anybody you meet, you preach the gospel to them. Man of God, I don't know how to preach. The gospel is simple. Jesus loves you. So, he came to die for you. So that you may have eternal life. You have preached your best. This is the whole gospel. This is the whole gospel. He said, when you share the word with people and they don't take it, that one is it's not you. On the day of accountability, Jesus will show it to them. That they told you and show them a video of when you were preaching to them and they rejected the word. Now you didn't accept me, so go to hell. None of you will go to hell. Nobody here will go to hell. Come on, nobody here will go to hell. Everybody here will make hell. Because I have preached the truth to you. Oh, can I hear the loudest amen? The way church is quiet. Church is quiet. Sometimes we need to remind ourselves. Once I'm preaching to you, I'm preaching to myself. All of us. It go to all of us. It go to all of us. So be a soul winner. Wait me, let me talk to you. So winners will get the best place in heaven. The best, best place in heaven is reserved for soul winners. Let me shock you. If I'm a pastor and I don't win souls, and you remember you win more souls to the church than me, on the day of heaven, and the executive seat will be given to you, not me. Can I explain? I'm a man of God. But he is a church member. 
He win more so to the church than me, who is the pastor. Putting on clarity. The day we all get to heaven, because he won more souls for Jesus than me, he will be sitting here. And I will be sitting here. Why? Because in heaven, it's not about title. It's not about I'm, a, I'm the head pastor. In heaven, it's not about clerical. It is about who did the job that I sent you to do. So once he did the job, sit down. So for the end of them. I wouldn't be surprised soon. You have to attend the Bible school, put on the clerical. Amen. 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 So once he did the job, and I'm seeing souls in his name. Listen, every soul you bring to God, God marked them in your name. I came across this thing when I was in the water in preaching in one of the cities in the water. They said there is a network. Yes, The more people you bring to the network, and if I don't do it, I would want to back. The more they pay you. How many have heard that before? So if you put 20 people for the network, all of them they calculate some amount of money every month and give to you. So you see these girls walking in the city door to door trying to win more people for the network. Listen. The only business of God in the church is so winning. The whole church exists because of so winning. Go ye into the world and preach the gospel. Eh? They that are suffering, baptize them in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Period. So when we win them for Christ and now they have a need of a miracle, then Jesus does the miracle in their life. Put your hand on your head. Say, Lord, I will not be a fool in your house. He that we know the soul is wise. From today, help me to be a soul winner. All the days of my life, say, Lord, help me to share your word to anybody that comes my way. I am breathing and existing because of souls. Help me, Lord, to do so all the days of my life. Give him a wonderful clap. So he that will not a soul is wise. I pray for you that you'll be a wise man. You'll be a wise woman. Daniel 12. Give me the verse 3. Look at this. So winners are wise people. Look at what the Bible says here in Daniel chapter 12. Verse 3. Verse 3. If Jesus saved you, you must save others. Don't allow your friends to mingle around you and misbehave. They are still drinking. You are okay with them. They are still smoking. You are okay with them. You must tell them about Jesus. When they ask you, tell them. Ukra. Pebebima Ukra. Find somewhere for your soul. And sana da Before the evil day comes. As for the evil day to come. Wave me, wave me. The, the evil day to come. Ah, we are checking out one by one. One by one. People are going. Your sister went. Your mother went. Your grandmother went. You also follow. After. And what's it? 
there is judgment. My question to you is that how many souls have you won for God? With me, let me talk to you. Those who are wise, those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the sun. Shall shine like the brightness. Those who are wise, who are the wise people? Talk to me. We read the previous scripture, so this is a continuation. Who are the wise people? Who are the wise people? Oh, can you shout it? Who are the wise people? So witness, they are wise. Those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the firmament. And those who turn many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. Those who turn many to righteousness. It means that those who preach the gospel to all believers and they change, they will shine forever and ever in heaven. So the best position in heaven is reserved for so witness. That's why they can't say that. One now, one time. Can I hear an amen there? Amen. Can I hear an amen there? Amen. Tap your neighbor and say, Do you want to shine forever? Tap your neighbor and say, Do you want to shine forever and ever? All you need is to be a soul winner. Give him a wonderful clap. Everybody want to shine. Through a force. Yeah. When they took the captain from Asamoja, he was angry. Why was he angry? He want to shine in the captain. Even that one is just a worldly captain. Temporary. He was not happy. That's okay. This morning. You shine forever. Mm, you shine forever. If somebody is sleeping beside you, shake them. You see? So be a that. Tell somebody you shine forever. Be a soul winner. We are the real celebrity. We will shine forever. Those who win souls, they will shine forever and ever. That is my prayer for you. Church has become so relaxed. We don't care about the souls of men anymore. The importance and the existence of, of the existence of the church is so winning. If your sister is going to hell and you are going to hell, you have to warn your sister. You have to warn them. Those days when you talk about so winning, people have the zeal for so winning. Today, people don't care. February and March operating bring one soul to the church. Oh, operation bring one soul to the church. How many are ready for that? Let me show you why Jesus is not coming. Why Jesus is not coming? It's simple. Because many souls have not repented. First Peter 3 verse 8. Many souls. Many souls are still going to hell. In that day you'll be smiling. Walking on the streets of God. God will call Ajua, Kwapana, Mansa, Mercy. You walk majestically and say, Yes, sir. He will look at you and say, You faithful servant who have done what I requested. Come and have rest for your soul. So shall be your story. 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 Can we all read one go? Do not forget this one thing. 
with the Lord. One day is a thousand years. One day is a thousand years. And a thousand years as one day. One day. Wait. So we, we say we are in the year 2021. Yes, 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 yes. 2023. So to God it's like two days. Yes. This is God's two days. <laughs> this is God's two days. To the Lord one day is like a thousand years. Thousand years. Thousand years is one day to him. So 2,000 years is how many years to me? To this. Ah, what a God. The next verse, nine. Nine, look at this. Let's read. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. not slack concerning his promise. As some count slackness. As some count slackness. In another word, God is not slow. If Jesus is coming, as something that Jesus is not coming, it is slow. No! Quickly! But it's not suffering towards us. But he is just taking time towards us. Not willing. Not willing. That any should perish. That any should perish. But all should come to repentance. That all men should come to the place of repentance. Hey, if Jesus come to there, I'm telling you, nine, half of the church, half of the church, the whole world will go to hell. I'm praying that Jesus will come 31st because it's only 31st that many Christians change. Hey, am I preaching the truth? Ask for 31st. If you pray this priest, they go to church. The whole world repented first. The whole world repented first. Everybody. Everybody. Listen. And Valentine's Day 2 is coming. Then the whole world spoil again. There will be shortage of condoms. Look at this. Look at this. Give me the NIV. Verse 9. It said, Jesus coming. God is not slow in fulfilling it. He's taking time. Because he does not want any of us to perish. In another way, he doesn't want any of us to go to hell. So if you are here, you are still in your own life. Please. Change. Because he is coming. Believe or not, he is coming. I don't need any property on this earth. 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 I don't need any